According to researchers at Warwick University, poor handwriting can limit exam success by... The answer is 40%. First, I want to hear what you make of this story from the front page of today's Telegraph. We're asking if the writing is on the wall for writing. Uh, 0207 173 is the number if you'd like to let the nation know what you're thinking. Uh, do any of you agree with this exam chief who wants GCSE and A-level students to key their answers in on computer in future rather than scribble them down on paper. Uh, Isabel Nisbet, uh, Chief Executive of Exam Regulators Ofqual, said yesterday that the use of pens in written tests cannot go on when today's students do all their learning online. Or as she put it, our exams run the risk of becoming invalid as their medium of pen and ink increasingly differs from the way in which youngsters learn. Not very succinct, that, Miss Nisbet. <laughs> uh, she wants all tests to be computerised in future. Some, I believe, already are. But many teachers are outraged at the suggestion. Professor of Education Alan Smithers from the University of Buckingham... Ah, oh, Smithers. Uh, he believes computerised <laughs> exams will lead to a decline in literacy. How come? Well, students will become increasingly reliant on spell check. But then again, if that's how people are checking their spelling and, and grammar in the real world, what's wrong with that? Well, those uh, with Luddite leanings, and, and you can count me amongst them, uh, worry that we humans may end up losing the ability to write with pen and ink altogether, a skill we've been developing and refining for, what, 32,000 years? And yet the, the irony of me picking up handwriting is that I can barely write legibly, even if I take my time. I would have found my exams far less stressful had I been able to type, but a bit of stress never killed no one. And I do wonder what Gordon Brown would think of uh, Isabel Nisbet's views. He was famously roasted in print after scrawling a letter of condolence to the mother of... I mean, look at it. ..mother of a grenadier guardsman, Jamie Janes. It was littered with spelling mistakes. It was claimed he misspelt the hero's surname, though Brown himself denied it, blaming poor handwriting. So, I'll start with you, Johnny. Do only uh, Luddites moan, bang on about uh, the value of handwriting? Well, well, I mean, I like to think of myself as a Luddite as well, although I might be a technophobe, and, uh, I mean, I... I certainly I use handwriting and if I'm writing a bit of comedy or whatever I always have a notepad and write and I certainly think that connecting me to what I'm thinking or the ideas I have it's much, it makes much much more coherent um, but that said you know I'm I'm slightly out of out of the way of, of what kids are up to but I mean I would be Is it a key human skill? I mean I would I would like to think so yes yeah, but uh, but then you know probably going back over history there's a lot of things that at the time was was seen as being quite essential and, and aren't anymore but, you know, I'm also slightly concerned because, you know, these exam chiefs have, in recent years, particularly with sort of marketing and things like that on the computers... I mean, they've, they've had errors. They've had a they, lot yeah. of errors. So, I mean, as much as I'm sure she's qualified to say these things, I mean, they don't seem to be the most reliable in terms of uh, the right way to go with testing our kids. But, but then if you, write some, if, you get, if, if you write something that it, with your bad handwriting and, and you get it wrong because your handwriting was bad, it sort of seems a bit of a... That's the same sort of problem, isn't it? Yeah, you know, well, that, that somebody's misread it. You know, there have been problems with exam papers for years. I, th yeah. I mean, I think that handwriting is absolutely a key human skill, but we're talking about people at GCSE and A-level here, which is, which is 16 years old. You know, I, my kids learnt, um, learnt how to write way before they could actually type on, on a computer. Right. And, and kids are drawn to computers. My kids play on, on the keyboard. They absolutely love playing with, the, playing with the computer, but they type incredibly slowly. They can write really fast. They're rubbish. That's <laughs> you know, oh, that's, that's they interesting. go really, really quickly. How old are I they? I think they're five and seven. Yeah, but you see, I found that things have changed, that I've got my, my 15 and 17-year-old, for instance, type incredibly well, mm. but they have no notion of being able to touch type. It's not even something they consider mm. a skill or not a skill. It's something they do. They're yeah. incredibly fast typists. The, the phrase touch they, What's their handwriting like? The, um, their handwriting's so OK, but, I mean, I would say that I think, like you, that handwriting is a basic human skill that we should all learn at nursery school age and be able to do. But I think at GCSE level, I do think that computers now are more relevant. Um, and... and because it's the way they think. They're, they're, they're now they, you, you talk to the average GCSE student and they think computer, they've learned on computers, they, they don't even worry about whether they can type or not, they all can. It's incredible. But just as Ray Mears can take you to tribes even in the Amazon that have lost the ability to make fire because they're now reliant on big lighters and disposable lighters, if that can happen in what? Well, that's why 30, we should 40, still teach 50 it. 40, 50 years? We should, no, we should still teach the, the ability to handwrite. But what's the point of teaching handwriting if 
people never have to use it. I'm undivided on this because the there was there was a um, you'd be better a, off teaching. There was a really well known language. teacher who used to live in in Oxford who believed that and and um, and many people say it absolutely worked. If a child was suffering at school, not because of handwriting, because of lots of other things, the first thing he would take that child to do was improve their handwriting, and he believed it was one of those key skills that organises the brain. Sort of structural. A bit like music, I, yeah. I, it's I one spent, of those things that organises the brain. I must have spent in my junior years at school as almost as much time trying to form words that even I could read as I did actually learning anything. I mean, I, I became obsessed with it at points. My sister used to write this sort of beautiful sort of italic writing that she was taught at her convent, and whereas the pre... I, I just couldn't... I couldn't do it. I still struggled. I was better at school than I am now. And even though it was definitely a handicap, and I never really fully overcame it. I don't think it was that damaging. I, I'm do you write now? Do you use? I, to I be never honest, use handwriting hardly, at all. Hardly ever, yeah. because no one can read what I'm writing, including myself. So it's just a pointless waste of everybody's time. But if you're going to take time. a note or something, you probably do it on a, a pad or an iPhone or, yeah, yeah. or, on, the, or on the computer. I do. I hardly ever handwrite. It's bizarre because I feel I'm sort of actually talking or arguing against myself. But <laughs> <laughs> Seems not for way. the first time and probably not for the last. You've heard what these guys think after the break. Oh, well, here, if any of you support this exam chief who's called for an end to handwritten GCSE and A level papers. What do you think? Let's find out. Kirsty. Okay, we have Ray Hahn first on line two. Uh, Ray Hahn, good morning. Good morning. Uh, so, uh, what do we think? Would it be a good riddance to handwriting? Um, I don't think. I think the idea of um, computer exams are a really good idea. And I think it's because you're not going to be kissing goodbye to literacy because you're going to be writing all throughout the school year. And I think what it does, it really takes the pressure off. Because as a GCSE student, when I was writing my exams and I looked back over it, I didn't, I couldn't edit it. I couldn't think, oh, I need to put a new paragraph here because it felt okay. kind of useless. But is so it... looking back over a computer written essay or something and knowing that I could backspace and add a new paragraph and restructure it would really take the pressure off. OK, really OK. Off. Now, um, you could argue that uh, the handwriting skill forces the brain, albeit over time, to process these things automatically. I, I find... I, t I tell you, I'll try and give you an example why um, perhaps you, you might be wrong. Satnav, OK? In the, in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the days before Satnav, when I was driving around, you would learn... You'd be far more aware, I would say, of where you were going. I, don't know, I can see Anne yeah, nodding. Far yeah. more aware where you were going, um, what directions you had to take... And you'd sort of memorise it you'd before memorize you made it. your journey. And, as, and I, can I can feel Satnav literally robbing me of that skill as I go along. I'm becoming less and less capable of, of moving around. And I do worry that if... Although we... your marriage might still hang together a little bit more because of that sat now. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I, I do worry about spell check. I, 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 I sense that our ability to spell, Rehan, is, is going down, that we're not as good as we used to be. And you can point the finger at teachers, but I, I would point the finger at spell check. No, I do think spell check. I think if it was going to be exams were going to be computerised, I think spell check would need to be um, kind of removed from the programme. Okay. I think in terms of the whole sat nav example, I know and my friends have all agreed with me that when you're writing an exam, all your rules and everything that you've trained yourself to do goes out the window and you kind of just write for your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful way of putting it, if I may say, Ray. Huh? Yeah, I, I could also feel that mine, my characters would lean more and more to the left or as I was getting closer and closer to the end. <laughs> um, interesting. Thank you, thank you. And I believe you're doing A-levels now, is that right? Yeah, I am. OK, good luck, good luck. All right, thank, thank you very you. much. OK, we Pleasure. have Matt next on line one. Uh, Matt, good morning. Hi, good morning. morning. I, I, I hear you're a student president, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Excellent. Are you I'm opposed a, to I'm a... a pure student, not a president. OK. Uh, where do you stand on tuition fees? Uh, they're annoyingly expensive now. Um, I was in the March um, in London on the 10th of November. Good. Against the fee increase. <laughs> Good. Now, what do you think about handwriting, then? Has it got a place in A-levels? GCSEs? It, definitely. Um, I come from a quite an academic background. My mother was a, a senior lecturer. and I was brought to appreciate writing. Uh, appreciate the written word, and I think with new technology, which is new technology is fantastic. Yeah, um, it's slowly just destroying the English language. Is that true? Way. I mean, is that is that text actually the case? All that kind of thing. Text speak has its place, and I think the problem is the more you go towards using computers, the less uh, pressure there is on. Um, the right written word, if that makes sense. 
Um, and this, the written word is fantastic. I've got dyspraxia. I struggled when I was younger to write, and my handwriting isn't the best. But by having to write by hand in exams, that kind of thing, I feel I've like put more emphasis in what I'm writing. OK, OK. Um, thank you. Uh, more emphasis down the phone would have been helpful. I was struggling to hear. I do apologise. Uh, thank you. Let's have another. OK, we'll take Amos next on line three. Amos, good morning. Good morning, Matthew. Uh, so, are you a handwriting fan? <laughs> uh, most definitely. I'm writing a book called Where Do All the Pens and Paper Go? Ah, <laughs> excellent. Uh, well, so, that, what's your take, then? Well, it's actually on both sides. Um, the, written, the written word is most important. The skill to actually do it is very important for it to carry on doing. But also, I'm dyslexic myself, and um, I actually learn more by using the typing and on computers. And it's given me extra confidence actually in writing. But also, with the written word, we actually are more emotional and we say what we mean when we think more before we type. Is that so true? That's... Is that true? Or is that just uh, yeah, your yeah, thesis? Yeah, so um, I've been doing a lot of research on it and it's very true that we actually are well, more emotional. Most of our modern and historical um, poetry and historians have all written through emotions and through situations they've been through, oh, where now we think about what we say well, that's before only we they didn't type have it. Computers. And we also uh, are not always as true and honest to ourselves what we're saying because we're thinking about it more. I... I... Yeah, no. I, I... Do you know? You no. don't... Because I can... I, I... I write best at a computer. It just pours out. It's because there's nothing to interrupt the... You know, there's hardly anything between I the brain and the page. It pours out of you, but it's, it's not writing a more personal, no, connected think, yeah. experience. That no, it's just think about I find it's it travelling the energy yeah. travels from the brain. Anyway. You've got a piece of paper, you just scribble around, make notes, and it's all coming immediately, and you can do all that. With a computer, it's all formulated, structured, and there is something a little bit. But Anne, Anne is, no, Anne is amazing. Well, she's a real tech geek. Anne is mature, you were going to say. No, 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 techno geek. She drives and dictates as she drives. Yeah, So will be a law against Yeah. So that's why she's constantly running out of petrol on the M40. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, thank you very much for that, Amos. Let's have another. Okay, we have Neil next on line four. Uh, what do you think, Neil? Uh, end to handwritten exams? Is that a good idea? Morning. Morning. Um, I think that people get will get away with too much by not being able to write. I mean, I think handwriting depicts a character. I think it depicts a person. I've come across people at work who cannot write, but yet they're the smartest people, but... Yeah, they can't write, and you think to yourself... So, but then that's, 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 that's a handicap, isn't it? Not it's really. I mean, even when you, when you think... When you look at a person, and hand, I think handwriting... I mean, I'll be honest, I, I write a lot of emails every day, and when it comes to me writing in a meeting, my, my writing could be a scribble, so I'm, I'm a fine example of it. But I find that if I can write a bit more, it will help me, you know, kind of people... Would, people judge sometimes by writing, and you can tell yes. by... When people write a letter or write meeting notes or even at school, you know, I think the point is that people won't learn the fundamental basics if they get away with it just on a computer. Yeah, but then the, the, the flip of that is, uh, is it fair that graphologists uh, or people that, 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 that make judgments about people based on their handwriting, I mean, isn't that a horrible thing? You submit your GCSE, it's a scrawl, and, and some teacher mar or marker looks at it and thinks, well, this person is obviously... Uh, a single parent family, uh, they, 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 they've they got a slightly wonky left toe uh, and, and they like eating cake or something, they can make judgments about you that have nothing to do with 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 answering questions. But you could say True, I guess it'd be wrong to judge people on that basis, but it also makes you think writing's a privilege. You think of all the people that haven't got the privilege of writing, you know, in other countries or, you know, in certain communities that haven't had the education and here you've got the facility to do it. But by just making people write on a computer, it's like the easy way out. I just... I think, I think that the issue about this sort of concept of discrimination is really interesting because there's a huge argument for years about received pronunciation, about people talking posh and they're, thereby getting better jobs, doing yes. better in life. Now, is handwriting one of those things, you know, that, that can be sorted in, in, in papers, papers, You saw my exam You would look at them and think, there's something wrong with this bloke. Now, I know that's probably obvious down the telly, but you would look at the thing, there was something not quite right. Are you left-handed? Yeah. Left-handed, yeah. See, that's a problem as well, isn't so it? So I could smudge as I write. Yeah. So not only was it a scroll, it was mm. also a smudge And is it scroll. fair for you to be marked down because your handwriting is bad? My handwriting's rubbish, but I'm still glad I've got the skill. Yeah, I, mm. I, I, that's what I said. I'm kind of t arguing against myself. And just because everybody's on a computer these days, I don't see why that means that everything should also be on computer. Does that it doesn't make any sense at all? <laughs> Let's end this one then before I tie myself up in any more knots and uh, move on to our ads. After which it's Stefan with the rest of the uh, day's headlines for you.